San Fran wants radiation labels on cell phones, BP gets hundreds of free logo redesigns, and Alaskan oil companies peeved at polar bears. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, June 17th. While the jury is still out as to whether cell phones emit radiation, San Francisco is taking no chances of a future discovery that cell phones are indeed frying our brains and they did nothing to regulate it. The city is days away from creating a new law requiring retailers to show the specific absorption rate or how much of a cell phone's emitted radiation is pulled into the user's body. If the information isn't displayed, the store is fined $300. Mayor Gavin Newsom believes the legislation will force manufacturers to redesign their devices at lower radiation levels. Levels. Now, here's Catherine Goldstein with Webvine. Thanks, Sarah. Public outreach continues to grow as the oil spill continues its flow through the Gulf of Mexico. Some people are channeling their anger into artist statements and cleverly redesigned BP logos. Ironic puns, iconic images, and clever melding has shown that there is no end to the creativity of Photoshop wizards everywhere. Greenpeace and Logo My Way have even held contests to solicit the best redesigns. My favorite, the Vietnam War inspired graphic. What's yours? Thanks, Catherine. And finally, despite the ongoing oil disaster in the Gulf of Mexico, oil advocates in Alaska have taken issue with a proposal by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to designate a polar bear reserve the size of California as polar bear critical habitat. 95% of the territory is marine, as polar bears spend most of their time on Arctic ice. And that's it for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.